I am here vibing with a man who tasted musical success in the late 1980s. His parents named him Anthony Gordon, but we know him as... Early Black. Father Black. Heights I. Heights I live and never die, and that's no lie. All is well, sir? All is great. Give thanks for this. Ajay, man. Yeah. Ajay. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Yes, Father Heights. Yes, sir. Father Black. Yes, teacher. Father him. Early Black. Well, that was in the past. That, that was, was in the, the music. Yeah. Musical time. So, Early Black is not I anymore. Early Black is just a name. Yeah. Not an individual. Okay. It's I is an individual, which is I. Mm. So, when you look at this, look at I, you see It's I. Early Black is just a name given to I while I was in the music. So you're not in the music anymore? No, no. No? No. Yeah? I only listen, but I'm not doing it. So you don't do that dub plate and then sit there? Dub what? No. No? No. Nothing. Nothing to do with music. Eh? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Nothing to do with music. Before we get around to that, though, talk to us, though. Early life. Place of birth. Well, I and I come see myself at uh, Olympic Way. Okay. Olympic Way, um, to be exact, at the corner of Grass Creek Glade and Olympic Way. That's where I come acknowledge myself. And from there, I leave and go to Cockburn Pen, Coburn Garden, which is Seabright Garden otherwise. Mm. Yeah, and all about the place from that till I end up in music. Okay. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters? Well, I have three brothers with me and four sisters. Okay. Yeah. All of them are still with us? No. Just seven of us now. Okay. Yeah. My condolences. Great. The old man and old lady still around? No. Just the old, just the lady. The old lady is still around? Yeah, it's a blessing that man. Yeah. How is she doing? She's doing great because she's in America and she's still working. She's about Oh, she's strong then, man? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What the man attended school? Um, C Ward. Garden? Yeah. C, C Ward Primary. Primary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an Olympic way. Change now to Seward, um, Seward Junior High. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was the only school that you attended? Yeah. That's the only school. And I didn't do much in that school neither. Why? Why go on? Because it was. I don't know. For some reason, I never liked school. Mm. No. I did have to just I did just go to school because I did have to go to school. But really and truly, naturally, yeah. spiritually, I never liked school. So it's not like you never finish? No, I never finish. I never finish. I it, it um they have till um what ten grade. Oh great. Okay. But I went to seven. Seven. And I didn't do much nor long while I was along the journey right. going to seven because I still used to school school a lot. I never liked school and I never have no control of that. So when I stop at grade seven, what are what, 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 what your parents say? Eh? And right. them stop or you stop? I, I stop. Them not stop I. You know what parents not stop them children from go to school. At, it's I stop because just naturally, I never liked school from birth. I don't know the reason why, but I never liked school, brother. But I did have to go to school, and one at the time, I, when I leave my parents' yard to go to school, I used to just go among some friends, and they had daytime with them. For them parents going to work, them not going to school. So I was there with them, and we gamble, and we cook, and we eat, and all these things. That time I was about 12. Mm. 10, 11. 12, no, 12, 12, because I leave my father home when I was 14, and I leave my father home in a drastic way. Well, go on this Very side. much. All right. When I go to school, I remember, as I said, I never liked school. I don't know how I don't like it. I don't like say, somebody tell me I don't go, or somebody tell me I don't like it, but I just, just never liked school. So, I remember I... Don't go to school for one month, but yet still I leave my home every day for go to school. 
one month I no go school, I day up on my friend. Me and them a play and we cook and we chat and we do all kind of thing. And yes, still the school just the right there so. And my friend yeah just the right there so. And me now go to school until one day me they behind a chuck back on my friend gate and we are play card pack. And when me look, is my stepmother because me, me not live with my mother. Oh, okay. Me live with my father and, and my stepmother. stepmother. So when me look at she, me say, me can't run, me can't do nothing. <laughs> so she hold me because she know me. First thing me was a youth where you used to love runway. Uh. Because to be honest, my father did really abusive to me. Because he used to say me rude. And I used to rude. All right. <laughs> this is the concept where all we have. Yeah. So the children them rude. But okay. well, let me tell you this. Tell me. I could know say so I never rude until I grew up and I hold certain spiritual meditation. So when I stop one day in my big man stage and I think back what I used to do as a youth when them say I rude. I used to say I never have no control of what I was doing. Some of them I don't even know say so I do them. Well, like but like I go to school, then you can't show that man. No. I right. don't reach a part oh, there yet. Okay. I don't reach a part there yet. I just make you know, say. Be a listen, man. The rude part, mm -hmm. when them claim to say me rude. Me never, never see rude. me rude. Me never see me rude. Me just have to do what children have to do. Sometimes we do what children have to do in a way we don't suit the parents. But on a rudeness. But on a real, on a rude, <laughs> me not see it as rude because. <laughs> I never tell myself, say, you know, say me rude, and I'm going to do that rudeness there. And mm -hmm. I just find myself just doing do some, some things. things, and they claim that I'm rude. But when she told me on the day, and said, you go to school from morning, I tell her, yes. <laughs> and one month, I don't go to school, you know. <laughs> one month, I tell her, yes. So she said, OK. She hold me up for my hand, because she knew me where run with. If she ever met me walk in front of her, yeah, God. me gone because my father did really abusive. And him is a man where he beat me for nothing. The simplest thing he beat me. He him, him just beat me and said me rude and if me not do certain things by time him appear beaten. So I couldn't take it and I'd have to run away all the while and them people see me a road and hold me back and carry me in and, and all kind of things. Mm. So when my stepmother carried me go up at the school, carry me to the class and said, teacher, Anthony Gardy come to school from morning. No. She said to the teacher, said, teacher, him come to school this morning. So the teacher dressed back and said, who is this again? <laughs> <laughs> so if she even know who is this now, she go check the roll book. I be absent. One month was absent. And when my stepmother hear that, she have to hold me, grip me tighter. Because I know say I run me a runway, you know, man. And when my father come from work, I can hear this, you know. <laughs> yeah, so she carry me home, lock up every door with me inside, because every minute she come at the door, the window and a peep. Because it, it, the least you could go, she goes, so, you know, I gone, I gone. Which me never know, say, me not do them thing there. And, and like me have no, no friend where I influence me for runway or I influence me and for don't go to school. To or a, yeah, I just, it's just a natural road. Mm -hmm. Just a natural road. So people hear me say this and feel like, say, I lie me, I tell and I road me road. Take it phone away. Have it phone away. But me know within myself, say, me never road. Up till this moment, me not do road. Me not road. Me just do things where other people don't comfortable with. So. <laughs> She carried me home, locked me down in the house till 5 o'clock. That time it was about 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm. So 5 o'clock my father come from work. She learned him the news. My heart now starts skip a beat. Biddy the boom, biddy the boom, biddy the boom, biddy the boom. Because I know when me I go get in, I know where I go go on. He start beat me. Because he's a junkard too, you know. Uh, Very much a junkard. Yeah, man, the man they drink, the man they drink in no normal. When the man they drink, <laughs> they let the man they drink in, you know, man, and come in the yard and him drop down a ground there, so you know, a daylight pick him up, you know. Because me a little youth, me can't, can't manage him, can't my stepmother can't manage him. Him just stay asleep till him, him revive. <laughs> so, 
him do me a whole heap of wicked things that the night. Okay. He beat me friend, him come from work from about 5 o'clock, 5.30, till about 9 o'clock. I was a little maga you youth, know, because I'm a maga, you know. And I tell you, the man beat me in, the man beat me out. The man beat me every time he, he member and come back out. He the man done piece of wood for me. He get piece of electric wire. He lift me up, he fling me down. Because I saw him do me from a long time. I don't know if he don't like me or what. But I them type of treatment that I and I go through. So, the night, he tie me on on a stool. Time me, me hand behind me, on a stool, out the door, gone and bed the man and woman. But every minute I notice him come at the window. And I look through the window to see me that I may have the yeah, card right. we use and time me and I did some first time card with some string, string, string wrapped together, twined together mm -hmm. to make a card. So me have my finger, I pick the card, I pick the card, I pick the card, I pick the card. There was a table in front of me you now where them wash plate pan. We have a knife and spoon and thing them turn down upon it. So after I pick the card, pick the card, I realize say, it, it pull. My foot them tied down upon the chair too. Well, I mean, I think like, I mean, I believe say, no matter what child rude, you should have done so. Mm. As a father or I as a parent. Yeah, I mean, I really agree with that. So even if me did rude, me never, never, me never really, he mm. never really deserved that still. But anyway. My foot now need to be loose, but through me see my look at the window all the while, I run me a thing for run now, you know. Because I can't take this no more. Naked too, you know. Naked as the day I born, the man tie me down. So, when my hand release, I get up and hold the seat and jump, go over where the table there, and back the knife, and I cut. The knife not so sharp, but I cut, I cut. So till me see him look at the window and I hear the door I pull. And I say, no, I hit this. And I bust it, I end up to bust it. And I hit the fence. And I hear when the door pull open. And I jump over the fence and drop a ground out of the road. And that was the last day of my father's yard. 1974. Because I was born 60. So in that time, I was 14. 14. Yeah. So I go back to my father's yard. From that, so I uh, just so me leave now and go Catburn pen. So oh oh, you yeah, yeah, bring us to that Catburn pen. That's so my mother did live. Oh, okay, you go around a mummy. Yeah, that's mm. so me did live. She know never want me at her house because she did already have about four of them there already where she can hardly mind. So she did. She know say me, me, me all right when I'm a father yard because I did me alone. Till him get a little daughter, so I two of it, so right. me did kinda alright. Alright, but me never alright. Because when me there my father yard, anytime I see me not hungry. Can't hungry. No matter if I never eat for the whole week. Not Once I'm dead for the whole week, me not hungry. And when I get food, I can't eat it. I don't have the appetite for them things there. So I did kinda glad for that release there. And me still glad me never really end up in a school in a in a full time and why because certain vibration where, where I have flowing right now if I did, did decide say I did I go to school right through I wouldn't experience where I experienced now. Okay. Right. So I just decided that mm, yeah that the, the, the early life was the early years were rough man. Always have a rough, you know, because Jamaica, they say, you know, live up a Cherry Garden, mm. you know, live up a Beverly Hills. Anywhere in the inner city, you're there, 99% it's rough. But your nah, everybody. is extreme, especially with the old man and yeah, the man. and thing. You know, all right, I'm going to give you one thing where I remember. Where I know, all them things I remember, I know, I never rode. I remember as a little youth, I don't start go school yet. I don't start go basic school yet. He gave me a bowl of porridge for drink because I did me and him remember live at the time. So he used to leave me at a somebody's yard and go to work. The man gave me a bowl of porridge in the morning and said me to drink the porridge. And he looked both for go to work. But I never have no appetite for the porridge. Never have no appetite for the porridge. Remember, you know? 
me not at the first ill treat that me going recognize my father do me as a youth. The first time that, where is that like me still a baby. The man come and see me, I pick pick the porridge, and he must say, drink the porridge, and him stand up over me and him shout and I rough me up, drink the porridge. Go on, go work. So I start drink up the porridge and I drink, force drink the porridge till I find myself puke up back when I did a drink in the porridge. And you know, the man make me still drink the porridge. I didn't know if I talk all in Sydney, but I have to talk it because right now we are all big people, you know, and it doesn't matter. The man make me drink back the porridge when I puke up in there. That is the first thing we can recognize when my father do to me where he shouldn't do. Mm. Yeah. So it, it was it a, a, a easy yeah. movements for I growing up. So so when you go rest with mommy and you now, stop go school now. Can you not yeah. go back to school after no. that? No. So because you are 14. Yeah. So what the man do them time there? We just a linger hall about the place because I'm there in a Catburn pen now where whole heap of freedom. Me free, me free. Me just I run up and down with other pitney. Them going to school still, me not going to school because my parents can't afford to send me to school. So I just live on my own and just, uh, just uh, live from yard to yard, brethren to brethren. And, you know, just did it till I start move from 14 to 15 to 16 to 17. Then now I start think about music. Mm. Not even knowing that I was thinking about music or no, no, thinking about some that did really go do music or not. But, I used to listen to some artists back in those times and I did kind of get influence of one of the artists where everything he sing, I just gravitate to it and just practice it as a little youth and just do it over. Who was that? Johnny Ringo. Oh, Johnny. Johnny Ringo, yeah. So I used to listen to like Lone Ranger them and in, um, Brigadier Jerry when there was a song named Pain. Johnny Ringo used to do some song like me at the bass and some other song. But Johnny Ringo was an artist now where he made us love him, pronunciation of words and how him, him, him bring them across. So I didn't end up start DJ just like him. Mm. But a theme lyrics that I use because okay. I never could have made no lyrics. I just theme lyrics that I use and just some little sound system in my area and I go up on them and I DJ. Any and of them sound they have name? No. I don't know name. Sound? No, mm. Right. I just one lady named Ampet. <laughs> she used to have a little disco. Compound and set Yeah. Like. Pan her veranda and she used to sell her little liquor and it have a mic. Mm. So I used to go there and DJ. And next bridging used to there now named Dennis. Dennis Kiata. He did have a little so a bigger set than Ampet. But it was it never did have no name. name. But we used mm. to just call it then it's sci fi. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I never saw where you used to play out or nothing. It just used to play in my yard. Yeah. So I used to challenge them because sound there and I realized that the people, I said, man, you can't DJ, man. Yeah, man, you sound good, man, and whatever. So till I start build one and two lyrics. But it did take a long, long time before I start building lyrics. I just said that I focus on Johnny Ringo and theme lyrics them. Mm. Till when people are forced it in me now. And I start making lyrics now. So the type of lyrics them when I used to make, is the lyrics them about the people them in my area. I used to just look on them and just make lyrics off of them and mash up the place. Make lyrics off of the people them, the place and everything. So people used to rate me as them time they didn't really name early black yet. Which name just, you go off at the time? They didn't have no name. People used to just call me blacker. Oh, okay. Yeah, they used to call me blacker as a little youth where black mm. and I grew up. <laughs> so till Earl is really the name where my parents give me, Earl Anthony Garden. Oh, so yeah. it's not just Anthony Garden, it's Earl, Earl Anthony, Anthony Garden. Garden. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anthony Earl Garden, Garden. but okay. I want them three names there. Mm. Yeah, so we put it with the black. That's the early black. We call it early black. Yeah, yeah. so when we start to DJ you now, for the public now, big public now, where in my area, we take on the name early black. And then now, I start to go out, out now, and people start love on my DJ, you know, and things. So I start to make more lyrics, more lyrics, more lyrics. In time, the stock now, not really come in yet. Stock now half come in yet, because as I say, 
a 74 me leave my father yard so 75 76 77 78 79 me day free lunch just a dj until me start get more perfect in the dj business mm. 80 81 82 83 84 me start DJ you now, pan big sound like Arrows International. So Arrows was the first big sound. No, not the first big sound, but me used to DJ pan Arrows. Jaro, Kilimanjaro. Um, music merchant. Music merchant. Mer music merchant was the first big sound. I like a, a little youth named Junior Ranks. Kiara me got to music merchant up a shot to the road. And uh, they used to keep dance at Sunday night time. And the first night me go there and hold the mic and my sound that and about six hours was the artist span it and who were some of the other artists ah uh, them not have no name oh they not have no name mm. them not have no yeah one of them was a youth named mooney one of them was one named leon the lover but them not really they take it to the level right, where me understand. take it to because i was the top dj upon the sound when posters print and people say early black them no business wills them want to see because I was a youth now where lyrically, lyrically inclined, cussing lyrics. I never used to do gun lyrics. Okay. None at all. Because I never knew nothing about no gun. gun. Mm. I used to slack. Because I tell you, Johnny Ringo was a slack artist. Right. So I used to follow film footsteps. I used to slack and I make cultured lyrics a whole heap. Because more time I go dance and the brother for the sound, I say, Watch ya. You see that year here? You have to go go culture, you know. I <laughs> never have a problem. Yeah. Because yeah, me have them, like yeah, I have them same way. So a music merchant and then now I start launch out from big sound. Anyway, you know the big sound in my era. Yeah, did it. Me, me, me did it. Gemini. So when you go Gemini Ringo was still there? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because so you go on with your teacher there. Yeah, right? yeah, because I youth in my area now when no Johnny Ringo before me. Said to me, said, boy, early black, you know what I say? Me know Ringo, you know. And right now, if Ringo see you, you know, Ringo go love you, you know, brethren. Because you sound just like him, you know. So, I say, hey, my idol, you have to make me know him, man. So, I'm carrying me, go make me know him. Um, somewhere around Franklin Town, in Midland. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm carrying go make me know him. And from this, you know, Ringo, I say, all right, yeah, man, you can come in, my youth. So, I go to Gemini. Remember, I go to Gemini one night up at Chisholm Avenue. Them, them used to keep dancing at Chisholm, Chisholm Avenue. Avenue no. right. Yeah, and they give me the mic. I never go on too good, but I never go on yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah, because I'm feeling pat and I'm coming out. Right, right, right. But I have my lyrics them same way, but you know, I'm the man. Mm -hmm. So, I just, just said I go and do my thing. And right. So, Music Merchant was your only resident sound? Yeah. But you, you do the jars and the, the arrows they say and them thing there. Yeah. When you when you when you go jar them, then you go jar. Who were there at the time? Ninja man. Mm, okay. Ninja man. Um, junior cat. Because I did get a contract from Jaro. Oh, you did. Yeah, I did get a contract from Jaro. Anyway, Jaro play on mobile. Yeah, I was there. there. Yeah. So it was junior cat, ninja man. Sometimes Professor Nuts and. Um, a, co a couple Some more woman. artists there, mm. yeah. So the parade. Yeah. So, so the till parade. Arrows come in at the play now, I and I, I, I get a next contract for Arrows. Then time I have no music yet. Oh, okay. But as I said, the versatility. Yeah. Then I went to Saint Thomas and get a, 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 a contract for a sound system over there. Yes, yes. No, not, not yes, no, yes. no. Um, to be honest, I don't remember the sound name right now. But it is it, 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 a sound where you used to play in a center mass. Okay. And once it a player, me leave a town, you're gone. Me gone. So till me take up resident at center mass, bring oh, a woman over there. <laughs> okay. No, me, the, me, me get a woman pregnant from music merchant days. And okay. music merchant used to play a center mass. So me, me find a little empress over center mass and get her pregnant. The rest aside. Yeah. So I just desert this so till. It reach up in a stage and now teach them where after me do stock. Stock was all on. So so before it stuck. You recorded any other song before? Yes, yes, yes. I did record a song named Countryman. Countryman? Yeah, for your brethren where 
I don't think it did even release, but I think we did hear something about me. I don't know if I did just a couple of copy and print or a dub plate or what. But I did do a song named Countryman. You double rang, you double rang. You shouldn't come at town, come giant town gang. <laughs> so, wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, so from there, so now, my daddy, I go on DJ, 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 so till. I remember there was a brethren and Adley Park Road used to keep a Sunday night event. That is right where um, AT and L Automotive is right now. Oh, okay. Across AT from L. there. So mm. yeah. And when we make stock, the first night when we go perform stock, I write there so I go perform it. Whole heap of people, I may tell you. About six times I have to do it. And from there, so I say, people come to me and I say, number one tune that you know, number one tune. So I say, all right, so I have it in reserve there now. I don't, I don't quite remember how I get linked up with Dennis Star, mm -hmm. Junior Star. But it is easy because I used to go amongst one youth named Mikey Melody. Mikey Melody, okay. Mikey cool, Melody, cool, where, cool. Where, where, where you used to go amongst Dennis Star. Mm -hmm. Dennis Star, them big artists that, them time, them even do no whole pop bust. Yeah, but we used to go amongst him from in a dance. Jack Scarpio, we used to DJ up and see him. Oh, you used to run a Scarpio? Yeah, we used to run a Scarpio because we do all music with Scarpio too. Okay. So, we go down a tough gang, down a Junior Star, and I think a Mikey Melody that tell her, I said, the artist, yeah. Him, 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 you can't give him a run. So, them have an audition in the studio. It's about 20 men in the studio. I don't know if you know about one artist named that are Ricky, Ricky Chaplin. No, uh, you never hear about Ricky Chaplin. Name, yeah, um, no. That's a Charlie Chaplin brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, brother. He and was. I don't know if Charlie was a brother in our music. <laughs> yeah, man. He was the man who. I don't a, 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 di a direct. Oh, okay. The, the man, them, are the people, and a woman, girl was there too. To go around. So the rhythm playing. And everybody go around. He might tell them, press the button and I tell them, come, next. Mm. Because it's like them now put the right lyrics right, on right, it, them right. now manage the rhythm properly. So I position myself to go around there. Well nervous. I, I feel the first time I go do a music. Well nervous, go around. So he say, next. So I go around, because I'm in line for next. When I go around, and the man start the rhythm, and I start DJ. I don't really come here for DJ because right. I don't really depend on that. But Take up the mic, hold him, put on the earphone, and said, This is not the dance to sweat up. This one called S T U C K Stuck. Follow me, no man. Hey, follow me, do the new dance, follow me, do the new dance, follow me, do the new dance, stuck. Me hear the rhythm stop. The man then stop the rhythm. The man then stop the rhythm. So me I wonder where the man them stop the rhythm. So when them stop the rhythm and press the, 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 the one, one little button where me can hear. The sound I from around the south mm. in the earphone. Me hear every man a bow, 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 and me can see the man them to the, 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 the effect of the, the people them to. And the man say, Youth, from top. <laughs> that a Charlie, Char Char um, Charlie Ricky Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. Mm. Yeah, I said, Yo, that tune is bad. Take it from top. So I started to feel like confident when I started, you know, I'm nervous, nervous, you know. Yeah, man, I'm nervous because I have too much man and the first and them things there. So <laughs> anyway, I take it from top and just go right through. And I do it over about three times. So them, they, them save the second one and the third one and the fourth one. Because the first one was just starting. So mm -hmm. that never in it. And I tell you, brethren, you see, when I come around, nobody else couldn't go, around go back around there. At the same time, the man must start mix it. Oh yeah. Same time the man they mixed it and about um Gilbert Blow. Yeah, couple yeah. couple of days. I just see him eight years. Yeah, man, we know how eight years yeah. song, man. And Gilbert Blow a couple of days after. No, what may I say? No. Gilbert Blow before. Before you do the before, song. Before, yeah, because Adele come and do the song pan. Oh, okay. Adele come and do it pan, yeah. Where, 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 where the new name Fidel call? Generator. Generator, yeah. So when me go down there to do it, a generator because Gilbert did blow already. Mm. So I write in at the time about um, 
maybe about two weeks after Gilbert blow. Or about three weeks. Maybe I give it to about a month. Because oh, okay. I think maybe it blow very hard, so things would have to come back in place. And I do the song and afterward, a couple of days, not even months, a couple of days, the song put out and start eat the place and a desert go on. Early Blackton Star. Tell it's you, song. It's song. We get a couple of trip of firing and thing and come back. And I do a couple more tunes for Dennis Star, but them never really eat as stuck. stuck. Yeah. When you couple. say you go a couple of places, sorry for cutting, where are some of the places that you went at that time? We go Miami. Mm -hmm. call it Palm, Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Palm Beach, Palm Beach Miami. Um, we go Canada two times. We go Cayman. Um, we were supposed to go to England, but as I came to Junior Star, they said the promoter was uh, supposed to send the money. And they send the money so they uh, make we go and uh, me alone. Because Richard Stevenson, them did in uh, the, the, the group. group too, yeah. okay. Richard Stevenson, Ninja Man, Mikey Melody, Singing Melody, and a couple more. Yeah. Mm. So I never get to go. Anyway, we never fly again from that. You know, you haven't flown since then. No. No. By this, but you, your choice or it just not happen. It never happened. I never my choice. Oh, okay. I mean, it want. You yeah, want. Me, some yeah, more experience. Because, yeah, more experience. And and some more money. Can, right, right. And it never really work out. So, me the back of yard and thing and I go and do look at music, do some dub plate, sound system, and and I saw me I go and eat my food. Mm. Yeah. So till one at the time now. It's like the thing dry down. Nah, I get no duck plate much. Nah, I do no song. I just like sound system. So a transformation take place from this or now to where me is now. All right, all the transformation. You mm. say you do some other tune. You say you, you do tune for, for, for Jack, for Scorpio. Me do a tune for Scorpio. I think I want tune? one tune. Which, remember me remember the name? I remember, remember you because me, me, I know him alone. Me, me do tune for all right. steel. Right, you do Rambo, me Rambo. Who me you do, do that for? Me do Rambo, me Rambo. For Dennis Star? Dennis Star. Me do. Was well, I know, was Rambo me Rambo a tune where you on I mean, a, a Skullman? No, a Stock. A Stock? Stock was what a tune. What is the story between you and Skullman and Stock? All right. You see the, you see the pattern of the song? Na 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 but how in DJ, I never did a focus on the lyrics where my DJ took. But I like the me flow. End up, yeah, I love the flow. So I end up somewhere, somehow, make the lyrics there. In it. Yeah, the flow. Oh, yes. okay. So that's why Skullman attacked me because I know say a film style. <laughs> and me know. But I never really did give him the, 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 the edge, nor the, the whatever, to make him know, say, yeah. Because me and him did really. Go to it one at a time, that's him, him do and tune. Remember, say, come make quick brush them, come make quick brush them, come make quick brush them up. That a me matter. Right, you know. right. You call yeah. that that song? No, me never oh, trouble him. You never, okay, okay. I never trouble him. Because <laughs> in them time there, if me catch him in the dance hall, a different thing, because when I hold mic, Problem. a different something. Me make the but pan, pan record, mm. me never really do that. Me never, yeah, me never really, I don't like, no way you see man. Perhaps you should have done that in early. Well, I never made a thing about Probably a bigger boss about than that. the round thing. I never think about me that. I understand what you answer, man. He never did really big, you know. And right. me did get big, you know. But he that... did only a, a man in a film called uh, Spanish Town here. Oh, okay, okay. People know him. But me now come know worldwide. Right. So he never really did big and it never really come to me thought for God to God, God challenge him and follow him up and them something there. Me understand so, what you answer, yeah. man. I see the pre. Mm -hmm. you, do, you count out. Is another tune that you did. Yeah. But that's enough for Dennis Star. That was, Dennis. Yeah, that was for a, a cameraman where he take camera, he take, take picture. Oh, okay. he, have a, he have a camera place where you go go take um, picture, um, like so passport size studio. picture. Yeah, and, mm. and any picture you want. So I aim to do it for yeah. count out. Know that, me is another tune. Yeah, know me, Dennis Star tune. Dennis Star that. again. Yeah, because most of the tune when we do a Dennis, Dennis Star. Star. Yeah. So, I can assume it's a comeback baby feature and Mikey Melody at Dennis Star Dennis Tune. Dennis Star too. Tune, yeah. Mm. yeah. That's the only collaboration in the, in the catalog? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. With, with Mikey Melody. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
So question though, apart from stock, because we know none other tune them not get the the the, the, the reach was stock reach, but any of them actually got any any love at all other than stock? Rambo me Rambo. Rambo me Rambo. Rambo me Rambo. Skull man they come and do turbo me turbo. Turbo me turbo, right? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> because me never do ram I him and me never do Rambo half a turbo. I him do turbo, turbo half, half a Rambo. Rambo. Yeah, cause mm -hmm. me tell you me he wasn't the person where for I follow the, vibe that, that, the vibes. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I don't think about them things, I mean, just I think they just make some normal lyrics yeah, and just go through. Yeah, but if you if you come in a dance with Problem. the mic, then I mean, I'm the first man, done ninja man, you know. I mean, I'm the first, early, early black. black, I'm the first artist done ninja man. Anyway, ninja man there, I hear this and I watch this. Him know, cause yeah. even him, when him done, when we done deal with him, I even him, I look for the people and I say. Because Ninja Man did boss, me never do stock yet. Oh, okay. But him did have um, the, so, the song where him and my um, Courtney Melody. Courtney, do. Okay, right, yeah. right, right. He okay. had the song there, Gwan, and he did have a next song, Gwan. So he did hot. So he used to DJ up on a little sound named, named Angel Disco. Oh, okay. Rona Woodpeck Avenue, a Catburn Pen, it come from, mm -hmm. same way. And it used to play at Thursday night time. So when let me also have DJ business there. So when Ninja Man come there, and the night it was a clash. So me, a brother named Iron Man. Iron Man. You see him broke back. You mean the great broke back? Broke back, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, a brother named Sanchez, not, not singer Sanchez, one DJ named Sanchez. Clive C from back to, and Ninja Man and um, junior cat, junior the cat. daddy. And the whole way a clash with one another. So Ninja said, All right, here we go on. Anyone who no win, challenge me. I say, Wait. <laughs> I say, Wait. I don't know why something like that. Ninja man, that's you know, man. I mean, I know. But anyway, it happened that me win the clash. I mean, win the clash and I beat up the whole of them. So you rub the whole of them? I rub out the whole of them, man. So them Junakyat and broke up and the whole of them? The whole of them, the whole of them, because they don't have no cussing lyrics. Oh, okay, okay. Them, them lyrically, yeah. but they them don't have no cussing lyrics. lyrics. Mm, I mean, Ninja Man are the only band that have artists. the cussing lyrics, and Ninja Man never even knows what they say. Yeah. So, when Ninja Man say anybody win, I have to challenge him. And when me win, and the man say, hmm, early black, <laughs> You know where you can mix up in a you know, you know where you can get yourself in a you now? And a piece of braveness just come over me and me just take the mic from him and say, anything or anything. Anything or anything. And the crowd go wild. And me I tell you, man, we did go around him skin on the night, man. Mm. Did go around him, did go around him. So the night him tell me say, we win the victory. Cause when he, when he must say, people are who win? Two a, a ninja man, right, no right. five people must say, Are you ninja? And he must say, You know him still already. He must say, You know, two lie. <laughs> and the man win. Uh, yeah, so I mean, the first one. Brush him. Brush him up, man. I tell you, man. Make him know himself that night there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, for real. So, you know, you say eventually it things start to dry up. Mm -hmm. And even before you reach the dry up part, eh, were you, apart from going Miami and Canada and Cayman, Cayman yeah. Zane, were you benefiting from, other, other than dub plate, were you, were you earning from the music no, that sir. you had recorded? No, Rasta. No, I, I never get nothing at all. Because back in them time there, if you not really pan top of things, you're you, you, you not going to work out, mm -hmm. or if you not really push up yourself in that music as a bad man and you know, show that badness there. Me never, me are never them type of person. Mm. Me are not them type of person. Me is a humble co youth where just humble and just in the business and get what me forget. And me never really get nothing much. Mm. Me never really get nothing much. Most of what me get in the music, I don't play it. Don't our play sound it. system. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I said it for it. Oh, and and me get some royalties from PRS because me did we, we, we did register we, with we PRS. Register. Yeah. So me used to get me. Used to. Yeah. I still get, but I uh, still don't even know where they come. I don't really check them. Oh, so. I don't so really check it out. So the change is kind of just. You're just done with the music. I'm just done with the All music. Alright, so I could pick that up now. You said some transformation go on, because you said the thing kind of dried on. What led to that transformation? Alright. You used to have a shootout at Agli Park Road named 
Record factory. Record factory, yeah. There was some visit that shooter sh there. After all the shooter them when we used to go, we did stop at record factory because record factory was a dub place shooter. So you mm. know, say most artists are gonna go there, so go look food. So I was there, get one and two work there so same way. And we sit down at the time, you know, and we chat and we laugh and do all kind of things. But there's a bridge, you know, where they didn't know, where Rasta you know where name um, blood fire. Blood, blood fire. fire. Blood fire. Mm, Robbie Roberts. Grung fire. Grung fire. You don't know me, forgot his name. But Didn't anyway, Robbie Roberts. <laughs> Robbie Roberts was a youth when we didn't know from Jamming Studio. Okay. Where nobody never really rate him. No disrespect. But nobody never really rate him because him humbleness and him type of singing. Oh, okay. Yeah, him type of singing. Good little singer. But them never really rate him. For give him, put hype him up on him. So him, him used to be a shooter all the while and for some reason he used to clink with him because he didn't like him little vibes. And till we, we start left Jamin Zangwa record factory and him dead. Eh? And he's a man we used to talk about Ailey Selassie a lot. Yeah. No ram. We talk about Ailey Selassie a lot. Man used to laugh after him. Me used to dead and listen to him so till. We are down in at the time now when things start dry up now and I now nah get no work. But I still have a studio. It's like by listening to Grung Fire, it's like I start to take more interest in what he must say and less interest in the music. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I find myself now when I go to the studio, it's like I don't go to the studio for no music again. I got to shoot off and listen to ground fire. Sometimes when I'm there, there and him come there and him attack, you know, him at, him, me, me not nah say nothing, you know, because when I say, kind of catch me, but I don't know what I ask him say, mm -hmm. because I don't know that the realms there for question him. But other man there, there when I talk to and him, I laugh after him and I tell him, I just say I'm dead and all these things. So <laughs> he must say, but remember, Jesus will not praise dead too. So mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't make a difference. But anyway, I realize I start to talk some things where it sounds real, it sounds conscious to me. So it starts to respond my heart, you know, and I start to listen to him more and more and more and more. So till, to be honest with you, teach them. When I go to shoot them, I don't want to do no music again. I him, I want to see. When I go to shoot them, I don't see him come to shoot them, I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. I do not feel good when I don't see Grung Fire come to the studio. Because what? I get that medicine, like a medicine the man give me. It's like he give me some internal medicine by him words. When he come to the studio, I'm the happiest youth, man. I feel so comfortable. I'm not busy with no music. If, if nobody no call me, nothing. I no, no, I know nothing. But Grung Fire was a big influence by, by me changing. Indirectly, because I guess you're not even know so a, No, I don't even know. Mm. I just have to listen to him. And just a take away myself. And I find myself now start go home and start draw the Bible when I never do. And I read the Bible because of him. And I try to find where I want to find throughout the Bible. And I start smoke weed from there so that in 1996 to be exact. 1996. To be exact, yeah. And I start to think different, you know, when I say, boy, you know, say, I want to go to the country because I don't like how Kingston nice and crowded and the, the, the place, them, you know, I get a, a wonderful, pleasant, natural smell from the place. So I would love to go to the country. I don't have a country to go, but I have some family at Clarendon where I say, I don't have to really grow up, but I say, I'm going to go, you know. And I end up at Clarendon late down in 96. And them amongst my, my people them. And I never liked the vibes in the house neither, because one bag of pitney did in and a bag of knives and all these things. <laughs> when I run from I hit me gone back. I in a, back in yeah. So I end up finding a bridge in down there now, one Rasta youth now where him, him live by himself. But him live when him and his mother live the same place. But him have him little corner. So I go amongst him and me and him reason and thing and him, him like my vibes and me like him vibes. We start 
him, him have, a, him have one, one sponge where him slice in a two. Give me a piece, him take a piece, and we sleep in one shop where, him, where him mother have the way. You know, really open. But we sleep in there. So till one day I go down the yard back and I see him have one, one, one big stone in the yard. When I look, him say it's a cave. So I go in there and I like how it look, but it never really big. Anyway, I'm there, I'm sleeping in the cave about two nights. Me and him, and we cook and we eat and thing. But is a man like this now where him kind of bossy. And as I tell you, me is a youth where kind of humble and just all certain vibes. Me, me, me know the type of people who are rough. So him kind of bossy and him is a planter, him is a farmer. Mm -hmm. Me and no farmer. Me just left Kingston and go there for all the vibes. So him always want me if you dig all for dashing. The plant dashing. I mean, my little bone them couldn't manage them thing there. <laughs> so me I say right now, why well, I would have love to get a cave for myself, you know. That me I say to myself, you know. I would have love to get a cave for myself because the only place that me see where me could have go away. You find peace. Yeah. And you know, say, I not even a week after me, me find a cave, you know, man. I may tell you, you know, man. When me find the cave, you know, and go in there and look round, you know. I say, yeah, man, I right place to see me. I don't nah hear nothing out of the road. So, I just wait till the night. I go for the sponge. And I two little pieces of clothes and carry over the cave. And I did some of from that. So, from 96, I'm in the cave. I'm in the cave for two years and add. I hold certain meditation and certain vibration. And, you know, it's it, it kind of rough in the cave, but I me, me kind of still never regret it because of the spiritual vibration when I come across where I keep me till now and where I still can influence my others. Mm. Yeah. So the transformation of early black now did in the cave. And at this now the transformation come in with Heights Eye. Mm -hmm. So the Heights Eye come in when I in the cave and I just get the name naturally and I just start calling myself Heights Eye. So me, when I come, when I in the cave for the two year and other. I decide to come back at town. Or I come back at town. I can't find no words to talk because why? When I'm in the cave, I don't have nobody to talk to. I don't have nobody to talk to. So words start to leave me. So, so hold on. So, when you're in the, so over this two years, how, 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 you, how you survive? Where did I eat? Food dead enough, oh, man. I come okay, to me there, okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Most of the people in my family and them, them farm, so when okay. we want food, no, we just go to them. Oh, okay. time when I'm a cousin, big man cousin, give me a piece of land and say, plant anything you want, plant on it. And I start plant well, sweet potato. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I start plant, I look at sweet potato and my corn and, and, and yam and me, 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 me tomato, and, um, kalalo. And all them things there. So when I when, when start reaping now, I'm, I'm go carrying goods in my cave and put it down. When you look, you think a carnation market, you're down there pretty. They're so pretty with food. And the cave now gets so away to me that it's cool because you notice anytime it's a command to December, September, Winter. October, mm. in the cold more than August, yeah, in man. the cold same way, but it's not so cold. So me now did have to go. Up in the mountain now, go look. What we call timber, tree wood, tree stump, and them thing there. Come pack up in my cave for light. To kind of help keep, keep me warm. warm. Yeah. And me light a fire in my cave. For the two years, me in there, me in the cave and light the fire. Two years and other. That the fire then out ten times. And the reason why I can't afford feet out, I isolate myself from a whole heap of things. So, I don't have no money to go to shop. I don't have no money to go to shop. So I just, when I have in the cave, I live off of. One little hole did there, I ground there, so where they dig out for a long time. Where a, the, the cave there is a kind of pasture, just like you saw, where they tie cow around it. Mm -hmm. But people don't really go there unless they tie them cow. So I hold it there, where when the rain falls, it's full, they feed the cow them from it with water. And that water they may drink. But when you look at it, it's crystal clear because no cow not drink from it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, to the time when me take over right, the cave right, now, no right, cow right. really a drink from it. So, at the water they may drink, rain water, till all, when you look in there, you see all fish and you look at tadpole them. But it never matter me because me, me, not, me not view no danger or nothing them time there. So, 
when me in the cave, they know my fire not out ten times because I don't no matches. I don't no body for God's sake, I don't have matches because I don't no, have memory for talk. When me in the cave, teach them. I don't know which day I wish day. For sure, the isolation when I'm gone in there, spiritually. I don't know which day I wish day. I don't know which month I wish month. But yes, when it comes to Saturday, I can tell you say Saturday is Saturday because you have some farmer who go sell them cow. Uh, um, um, come the day in our district named Bagwell. Oh, okay. Near, near St. Anne's. One other district, there, one popular district, the day there. You hear the name there already, man? Bagwell. Yeah, whole heap of whole whole. They're in the place where them plant Dashin and them things. Cave side. Valley, man. Cave Valley. So where the whole heap of cave man. them there. Cave <laughs> Valley. But me there in the section of Bagwell. Yeah. So me can walk from Bagwell to a Cave Valley market. Okay. So me used to, at a morning time, early in the before day, me used to hear the cow them and the goat them and me, moo, on the road. I pass because the road is just like over there, so same way. Okay. Yeah, so. So I know it's a Saturday. A Saturday. A Saturday. Mm. Sunday now, there was a church way across the road you know, where, when yeah. they must sing. I know yeah, a Sunday. Yeah, but Virgin, I tell you, yes, if I me touch Monday, I <laughs> can't tell you nothing more again until Saturday because I do focus <laughs> for nothing. For nothing in the world. Mm. More than just nature. So, me, when I me left the cave, I didn't know which month I I don't know how to go back at town, I don't know where to take, but I don't have no money, I don't have nothing. But I did say I have to go in now because it's like certain natural spirit just draw me and say, Watch out. Know, yeah, move. a time for your move because there's certain information spiritually, naturally, where you gather. And really and truly, some things when I have to talk, people are not going to like it spiritually because you have most people them don't spiritually active. Them don't know nothing about the spiritual part of life. Them only know about where they can look at the physical part where they can look at and touch every day. But when it comes to that natural, natural, God side of life, there, them don't know it. And I guess my thing there right now, I guess I'm there, where I'm highly spiritual, where I can't even talk to people. May I tell you, I can't hold certain conversations with people. I have to just hold my eyes and just. Just live and know where I know. And see them a fight and a run up and down and I tell be a lie and I go wrong and just a sick, sick and dead and all kind of things I reach them. And I and I just humble and just a live amongst nature and the breeze and know say the breeze. The breeze where I look and where I feel right you now. It is the totality of life. When you hear people talk about God, I eat at the God. But the 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 the, the, the Vibration that people get from where youth say God is a man and God in the sky, and that the teaching we get so we follow it until you come to the truth and know, to know that the breath that we are breathing it is God because it is hearing us now, it is seeing us now, it is the God that connect to this camera and taking the image of everything about me, you and all around and put it in the camera, that's when you look back on it you see all these images, that's the God there's no other God away from the word that you talk, God so all these people that are talking about God I can't wrong them for talk about it because I used to say the same thing in the way how they are talking about it looking to God as a man coming to save them, to carry them go to heaven and all these things you're going to stay here until you change your <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> yeah, these people are going to stay here and we are going to face worries, trouble, trial, crisis, sickness, pain, and death. And we will never see God because why? We have the wrong concept of God. God is the breeze that blowing. God is the tree. God, the, God, the tree is hearing us now. The earth, where we call earth, the ground, the sea. The breeze that blowing, it is so. There's nothing on the face of this earth that's sensitive as the breeze because every breath that you take and it goes in, it creates all the organs in our body. All the organs, cells, bone, ligaments, everything. That's the God. That's why they tell us that every man is God. Because God is here, there, and everywhere, which is the breeze. But a lot of people go behind that and 
put an image in them head as, as God, as a man. So God could never form himself as a man because the black man wouldn't want to pray to a man that is white or a Chinese. The Chinese man wouldn't want to pray to a God that is black. So God does not in an image to come and rule over nothing nor nowhere. God is the breath. God is the tree. God is everything. So from I see these things, I don't need music. I do not need music because right now I say music is not what I and I want. Music is all about money, fame, luxury, and all these type of life that the Lucifer put out some people to do his work or their work. So yes, Lucifer... You're saying music is of the devil, early black. Lose, listen to this. Yeah. Me no business who want to bash no, or whatever talk, or talk, what. I just ask no, me attack the okay, camera. Okay. Me attack to the people in yeah. the camera. We are going to watch this. <clears throat> Them not see because when you're in the crowd, you cannot see the crowd. You can't count the crowd. But when you're away from the crowd, you can see the crowd or you can count the crowd. True that still. I am not in the music because I make a different transformation. So I see everything where I go on. Music control by Lucifer. All music, all music, because they make music with the music they do right now. If you listen to the music, then you see, say, it is not of no godly, no true essence going on. Music is Lucifer sent out his, his workers to do music and capture the people them from what they from what we supposed to be and who we supposed to be we are not that anymore because music and not only music but a lot of different events that people gravitate to physically that that, that lucifer control the people them gone from them true self because if if the people them can't see the breath that you breathe as the totality of life then you last be lost until you can find back your true self that i'm not fighting against music but i'm talking the truth about music because i still listen to music mm -hmm. i still do listen to music there's certain music that i listen to so i'm not fighting against music it's just the way all the people them put out the music and the influencers them behind the music that telling us what to say, what to do, how to say, how to do. These influencers working for Lucifer all over the globe. That's why so much money in the music now, so much asset in the music now, so much things in the music because all these belongs to Lucifer. All the musicians them in music, people, I'm telling you this man, if you don't, if you don't find yourself, you don't last because music can't make you find yourself. Music is all about just fame money, girls, and all these things. Nothing wrong with girls. No, so nothing no wrong with girls, but what I'm saying, because me have girl. Yeah. Me have girl. I don't know, music me have girl, but right, I right, am a right. spiritual person, and I know how to. But it's like you look at children. Yeah, man, man, yeah, man, no problem, man, because so the thing nice, you know. Yeah, so, when these musicians hear this now, you know, I don't feel no way. You know, so the other day, me, me, me I take in a video and teach them with a, a, a bridge name, Cargo. And I tell you, say, it's like a me there in front of the camera when I listen to Cargo. Cargo have some conscious. Cargo last still, you know. <laughs> Cargo last still. Yeah, I'm not lying. Me, him last still. But I tell you, Cargo is very conscious when it comes to certain, certain aspects of thinking. Yeah. And he me, me, me laugh a lot and he me, me have to say, yeah, man, a true, true, true. But otherwise, from that, He's still deeply in the music, and from you are still deeply in the music, and you don't give nature any time, and you don't know that the breath that we are breathing is the true essence, and from you have the breath that you are breathing. You don't need music because the breath has everything. The breath is everything, and it has everything. Whatever you want, all you have to do is just meditate on it, visualize it, and you get what you want. Yeah, so when you came back to town, you had difficulties speaking. Like, so how that, how, how you because overcame Because words that? did leave me in the cave because when I was in the cave, I never really have nobody to talk to. So it's just 
Yes, I'm going to put it. Spiritual vibration. <laughs> yeah. Just a spiritual <laughs> vibration just, just start take over now. And this is a natural spiritual vibration mm -hmm. from, from nature itself. Because nature is just one, you know. It's just the bad influence and thought that we use through we have in our life. But everything is nature. And as a matter of fact, I shall say this, that there is even no, no demon, no Lucifer in the way that match up with God. Because you have some people who have Lucifer, and God. But it's just the one vibration and how you think. So the way how you think, people, if you think low upon a low vibration, then there's a part of nature that going to take over your thinking and make and move you in that form. And if you think upon a spiritual high vibration, there's the same gravitation of the same one breath that going to keep you in that high vibration. So, really and truly, is really your thought and how you think people lead you to whatever you get. So if you think that you are the music, then that part of nature, what we call Lucifer, are going to lead you to it. Because to, 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 to God, which is nature, it no know nothing good nor bad. Anything you put to it, its job is to just give you what you put. So that's why they tell you, say, do good, good follow you. The man is one with nature, you know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Because there's so much things we have to tell you, but you can't yeah. work. No, right, 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 right. But as we want to go back to the, 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 the speech. Right. As we say, when we're in the cave, we never have nobody to talk to. More than me just always sitting lay down and the birds them come in and me focus upon the birds them you know one and two little goat we pass through dog we pass through rat dede mongoose me focus upon them rat bat them there was my my main coming I mean, on nobody to talk to me never talk to them but me just focus upon them and just observe nature so when me left the cave now and come back in my district in my town not a catburn pen and the youth them see me. In time they may tell you, you know, I slim out, you know. Slim out and look weird. I see people say, early black are warm to you. And from them touching him early black, I don't pay them no mind because in my head, the transformation is not early black. So I don't mean, I mean, answer to no early black. But that's, that, that's the heights where we where, where gone to. Just heights eye. So them don't really know the transformation so I mean, heights eye. So I can't wrong them nor blame them for, for see me and say early black. So when them see me now and say early black the first word come out of my mouth is it's eye because me come say it's eye is me and not early black early black is just a a, a a name for this image while i was in the music so me can't get for reason with the people and become me don't know what to say again words not dead for me 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 me, me, me a buck buck when me start talk to them. So I bridge look for me and I say, alright, here you are. You go back into the cave. So I say, not not for me know of because it's like you go to college, you get a teaching and you, you get it. So why go back to college? But you still have the college thought in your brains. So he must say, alright, here you are going. You still like how you know, think you go back. You have to try fitting back yourself with the people them, you know. Because you know they're gonna talk to you and they're gonna ask a question and I look into it and I say, yeah, yeah. So I start to put in back one and two words and I am awful and above them the same way. So one time gone, I could not talk so fluent like now. Yeah, 90, uh, nine, 90, that are 99. Because I go in 96 Six. and come out 99. So 99, 2000. I don't talk so fluent. Mm. But by remember what the brethren say, that not take away the spirituality from me because Mr. Man will still go visit the hills regular. Regular I go and visit the hills. Do me, me, me going out there at some mountain where when, me, when night comes, I can't see me on if there's not a moonlight. Mm. Because I don't want no light. I just want to interact with nature in all different ways to feel, to get the feelings of nature that if, if, it, if it's scary or it's okay. And I see say it's okay because nothing never do me. I sleep on the dirt. Dirt, definitely dirt. Through the night. 
and nothing never do me. Nothing, nothing, I don't see nothing come, come trouble me. I just sleep till I get up, rainfall, and I get up and I go in a while little hut. We're dead there. Go, 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 go relax. So, I go through a, a, a spiritual vibration where music, music to me, the way down there, so. Mm. Not disrespecting music, but is the truth. Music, the way down there, so. Especially in this day and age of music, where you know how you're nothing, you know how you're nothing sensible to music, both from the singer them, the DJ them, nothing. But I feel them thing, I feel them, I them I do them thing, so me just love them, let them do them thing, and me do you. my own. Mm. Right. So, so, so outside of the farming, thing, how have you been surviving? As in, you do anything else? Like now? Right. All right. Economically speaking, commercially yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah. All right. After me, me leave the cave. Me not do nothing for about a year and had me just dead and I have no money. But I have one and two people where I can go to and I say, you know, say, I want some food for eat and I will get a change from them. Because I don't eat them food. <laughs> I don't eat them food, but they will give me a change so I go deal with my food. Yeah, so after I'm dead, I have a friend of foreign, one lady friend, she sent a money come give me one at the time, say, I figure somebody to pay them light, them water rate for them because then they are foreign, but the water still are used. So she said, I take a thousand dollars for myself. So I take the thousand dollars and I go down a coronation market. In time, they pine a fifteen dollar pound for pine. Fifteen. And I'm like, now we are two hundred dollar pound. And I buy some pine, carrot, and because the, the lady where they, they are foreign, she did left me a fair house, you know. Okay. With a big fridge in there. So me you now go out town and say, I'm going to make some, some bag juice. Because my area, as a ghetto area, we hold up a pitney and people there. And I start off, make the bag juice, them, the pine juice, blend them up and thing and start sell. And it kick off fast, 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 fast. The thing kick off. That's me, I say, wait. I saw, I saw this thing at work, so till me start buy more and buy more and start even have people now work with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, me start have people now where when me go market and, and come back, them wash the fruits, cut them up. Me do all blending, all sweetening up. And me I do that till it make me build a house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, me build my house out of music and send me picnic to school out of. Sorry, sorry, not music. Juice. Send me, me, not do, me not get nothing out of music. Mm. Nothing me get out of music. I can't see nothing right now when I get out of music. Or just away from the little dub plate and sound system. Right. But otherwise, I say, juice, it, it send me a far way. It keep the house from me in and now. A juice billet. So, I do juice for a couple of years until I realize it's kind of stressing. Because to the vibration and the, and the spiritual aspect of me at home, I'm not supposed to have work so, sir, because I realize the nature of, of it all. I just, you have to just put it in and the way how you, 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 can, you can achieve honestly without having to even sweat so much. But you have to connect to nature to know the routine. So, me did not know what I realized, boy, doing this juice, it is, it is so much act, act clean. Because they are selling them. I said, Juice, I sell out a road. Because I start go out main road now, go sell office people and factory people and um, side people and all them things. So money are coming in hard now. So, but I get the, 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 the rest, I get that, that energy there, I break down. So, I decide say, all right, you know, say, I'm going to stop the juice. Um, stop the juice. So, I stop the juice for about three months. I'm going to go to the country go sit down. And that time I have a daughter in the country now, so I'm in a, a fair place I go. Run out of money again. And I come home back and I say, it's, you know, say you have lease for pay. So, what are you going to do? I want something to do, but I don't really want to do about the juice. But anyway, some way, somehow, I find me, me, myself, I start the Irish mash. Irish mash juice. And, I start doing it in a way where I do it by order. Mm. So when I do now, the, the whole heap of juice people that I did have, I start go to them and tell them the transformation. So I sell no juice again, but I sell Irish mash now. 
I may do it by order if they're interested. Them give, them, give me the phone number. Me take them phone number. Me write it. Put it on my phone. When the time come, me call them if you want. You tell me, say, yeah, man, bring her back to you. And it did work. I it a work now. Oh, okay. I it a work now because I just I it me do now. Irish mash. And I, and I, every two weeks, so me have a lot of time for rest. That's why I came there so now. Because I, I, I won two days in every two weeks. I do Irish mash and deliver. I deliver Friday, Saturday. Because the thing takes on so much that I don't need to do it every day. Because I don't run around the world. Mm, yes, just want, yes, I look sustenance. Yeah, I just want to keep my, 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 my spiritual aspect. And the more you're free and the more you have time for nature, and the better you is. So I just have it that way. So till I just start think about people and health and come remember me also feel sick when time in the day in the, 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 the cave. And even in the music, I used to smoke cigarettes a lot and it never really made me feel comfortable. So I start think about now sickness and health and all these things. So I start make natural make ready, make medicine. Oh yeah? Yeah. So I eat me at the full time now. So the, so the Irish one and the medicine And, and the medicine, yeah, natural medicine. But I mostly specialize in colon cleanse. Oh, okay. Cleansing. Yeah, I mostly specialize in you know, cleansing. Can you bring some sample of thing them for well, the early it, man? It's it not late. It's not late, you know. <laughs> yeah, It's not late, but you see, the thing is this, you know, we have to know, you know. We have to know, I mean, I just want to bring something come where we don't know yet. Yeah, I understand. So, answer, we're there now and you know. Yeah. So, as me so, say, so, 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 even before you go any further, because I know so you, you say all oh, they are work on. So, do the Irish mash? Yeah, so you take, you take, new, you take a new cleanse or your salad, do you have your No, nah, man, I can't salad. Run the number. I can't salad, man. <laughs> Anybody want them Irish mash? And my Irish mash don't mix with milk. My Irish mash which mix with cane juice and sour orange juice put together. When you make it that way, people, and drink it, you get a whole heap of benefit from it because it go the sour orange take it straight to the bloodstream. And Irish mash is just like breast milk. Uh, the, the amount of nutrients your breast milk have, nothing no, else yes, don't have, have that, it away true. from Irish mash. So you hear the master Irish mash have mostly 92 nutrients that are where them know. The amount of nutrients in the Irish mash it can't count. Mm. So I take on that rule and realize that it's a go on. So, if there's anyone that they were really interested in an Irish mash or if you want your colon cleanse naturally, 329-5168. It's simple. 329-5168. I don't know if. And you get your call me. If you're in a Kingston, me deliver it. Me deliver your, your Irish mash to you because that's how I do it, you know. Delivery. Free. Because I have a little bicycle bike with the engine on it. I hit mm, me go wrong with it. One of them, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> Irish mash is every other week. But if, if you call me and I have Irish mash, I can deliver it or you can pick it up. It just depends. So, you can take it. Yeah. Can't take it yeah, man. Call. So, I just let it there, you know, my people. Naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. With all pleasure, yeah. man. All right. Yeah, yeah man. So, <coughs> 32951. Six eight. Three two nine. Five one six eight. Yeah. <coughs> so you can just contact but, but, Heights. So no dub plate. No music at all. No music because man come and be yard. The dog. Chinese them, the, 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 the Japanese them come. Man carry them to me. Say them want dub plate. Them have them money. I said that now I've nothing to do with my brethren. Nobody can get my vice. <laughs> because I have a idea about music. So from me have the idea about music, me just keep it my idea way. Dub plate, worse. Dub plate, worse, because soul man won't tell you what he say. Me not me no join yeah, that anymore. That. Mm. When you used to could have tell me what he say and tell me about if you tell people about the mumma and all them things there. That no work again. That no work because what? You are come with the influence of Lucifer. If you come tell me, well Lucifer tell you if you say if you go tell the people them. Cast war. Even the song when we do near stuck. It was a Lucifer song. It was a Lucifer song because I see woman fight in a dance when I tell them pine pan and mate and stuck. I see woman fight in a dance. So right there, so it made me know say it's or early black, you never do a good song. And I proudly if it talk, I tell myself, say, me never, never do, a, do good a good song. song. That was it a good song. None of them sang the way I do. Never was it was a, it was good song because I never knew a good. 
It was good song to the people them because the people them don't know good. Them don't know the truth of life. So if you don't know the truth about life, anything you get, you're going to take it. And say, yeah man, this good man, this real man, this whatever. Stuck was it a good song for me. So the business are going well and, and further <clears throat> I tie. Alright. At peace. Comfortable. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Right now I'm great heading to greatness. <laughs> because right I know how me I live. I don't have a television in my yard. No television. No television. <laughs> no radio. None of them confusing things because no radio and TV that. don't don't give you where you want. <laughs> radio and TV give you where them want give you. Yeah. And them don't have much for give you more than destruction. Pure destructive. Listen TV if you see a company when you see something really good come on TV. If you don't have cable for search for where you want. Then you have to go just watch the two little stations where Jamaica have you. And where them where them little destructive sound and pictures and image. Every mm -hmm. time I see the man, all white. All Signature. white. Yeah, yeah. This Purity. Yeah, this is, this, well, so them say, people always say white is prosperity, but yet still they now wear it. Mm. Every time them see me, I'm a white. Yeah, man, a good thing, man, a white a prosperity, but yet still, <clears throat> you're in a different color. You're in a some color where these colors send wrong signal to your body. White cannot send wrong signal to your body. White is pure. White is not even a color. White is just a, a natural shade. thing. A shade where every other color comes from. White. Every clothes where you see people have on is white and them dye them away from black. And yet still some black clothes die. So all these color clothes that people are wearing, when you sweat, it absorbs the chemical from them, the color clothes, because all of them die. So it absorbs the chemical from them and it goes into your bloodstream and it causes a bad reaction too. So the people are living in Pierang. <laughs> Pierang and figure more or less that them, them right. Them just comfortably in a rang and them figure more or less that it is right. But it's just a few kind of understand the right or the true pathway of life. Mm. Just like myself. And yet still more time I do something same way where when I me, when me do it, I say, you know, say this is this not in the thing, but I don't have a prison for it, it not do me nothing. Mm. But I me, me, me carry it from that, I learn from it. Yeah. Father, oh, I tie. <coughs> Give thanks, sir. We appreciate the reason. We know yeah, you have a lot more to say. A whole heap, man. Yeah, start it, man. It it yeah, we see it. A whole heap, man. Whole yeah, sir. Yes, sir. You see, you, you make them. some decision when enough man who don't take on them decision and you stand by it and you sit by it. So respect that, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, that. man. Respect yeah, man. That. And I art spec everything. Can you say respect? <laughs> a man can respect you and still use him wrist and thump you down. Art spec. But it, you see, when you, it comes from your heart. Yeah. Yeah, your heart. Art spec to each and every one of you. So we're going to want some of the products and um, we make a link and work out that. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely, and, definitely. And there, man. It, it, we support there, the know. business, brother. It's there, man. It's there, man. good things. It you is here. You're yeah, yeah, a great one. You're yeah, a great natural. one. Natural, you know? Yeah, sir, so, man. Yeah, people yeah. have to just prepare your feet, you know? Give yeah, thanks, man. man. Yeah, man. Give Art thanks. Art every me. time, man. So we, we're there, Art so love. Man. Every time, man. Art's Art eye. Art's love, man. This is Art's eye. The eye that live and never die. White is bright. White is right. And if you wear white every day, you must see the light. <laughs> I it's I. Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>